Hey, it's Time at Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a priority. It is nighttime here. We are getting gearing up for meal prep. So, we have some interesting things in this weekend's meal prep. I didn't really plan it well, but we have a pumpkin oat bake. We have pound droppers, pumpkin, oat bake. Two different oat bakes and both pumpkin. Good. Didn't plan really well. We have a quick dinner and we have prepping some turkey tenderloin. A little bit of everything. Yeah. I will have pound droppers linked down below for her recipe. My recipe is on dishwithd.com for my oat bake. And the other two things you don't need a recipe for. So let's take it away and roll some footage. I'm Jones for some pumpkin pie oats. Let's make a bake, shall we? Let's make pumpkin pie oat bake. First, we're going to put quarter cup of pumpkin puree in our bowl, quarter cup of unsweetened almond milk, teaspoon of vanilla extract, tablespoon of maple syrup. Mix, mix, mix. Tablespoon of brown sugar substitute. I am using the Truvia. Spice blend, pumpkin pie spice, cinnamon, baking powder, salt, and a little flaxseed. Mix, mix, mix. Half a cup of old fashioned, oat, no, quick oats, sorry, quick oats. Mix, mix, mix. Place in our cute little ramekin, top with some Lily's chocolate chips. We're gonna bake it 350 for 30 minutes. Top with pumpkin pies, pumpkin seeds. I'm not awake today. Baked for 30 minutes. She's all done and looks delicious. All right, I saw Pound Droppers pumpkin or easy pumpkin baked oatmeal. And I had some oatmeal to use up. I had some oats to use up. I had some egg whites to use up. So I thought I gotta use up the stuff. So this is what we're gonna make today. You know, I know a lot of you aren't biggest pumpkin fans as I am, but a lot of you are. So I thought we would do this together. So let's go. Cause girls, you know, I love my oats with pumpkin and boys. Okay, I have my bowl. I have my recipe right here. Um, I have my bowl started with three cups of oats. She recommends old fashioned. I prefer quick oats. So I have three quarters of a cup of old fashioned rolled and two and a quarter cups of quick oats. Cause I need to use up my rolled oats. So let's just give them a toss to combine them. And she just says, dump and go. So I kind of love that recipe. So we're gonna put our brown sugar substitute. I'm using Truvia Sweet Complete, pumpkin pie, I mean pumpkin, pumpkin puree, applesauce unsweetened, All right, none to measure. We need that and we need that. Now we need this one. Let's start with pumpkin pie spice. Now she always has it broken down, not made cloves. But we're just using pumpkin pie spice. So that's how I'm gonna roll. One teaspoon, maybe half. <laughs> one and a half teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. But again, I will have her recipe linked so you absolutely can follow her, and you probably should, because she's fantastic. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. This says three eggs or three quarter cups of liquid egg white. I don't think I have three quarters of a cup here. We're gonna measure it out and see what I have. And what I don't have, we're just gonna put an egg in. That's how I roll. Let's see, it's a half cup. Let's see how much we have. Yeah, just a scant under a half cup. So we're gonna grab a egg from the fridge. See, this is how you do it. You, you, how do you use up old stuff? Stuff sits around, you gotta get rid of it. 
coming to a should be perfection. There we go. Where was I? Oats are in there, the brown sugar's in there, the baking powder, salt. It says half a teaspoon. Well, we're just gonna eyeball that. You gotta have salt. Okay. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, ginger. We did the pumpkin pie spice. Eggs are in there, pumpkins in there, applesauce is in there. We know I just need to add the unsweetened almond milk and there was something else I was gonna, oh, I was gonna do a dash of cinnamon. I don't know why. Maybe because I have it. I'll throw a dash of cinnamon in there. I know I have all that pumpkin pie spice, but it's a little bit of cinnamon. I don't think you could ever go wrong with adding cinnamon. So, okay, how much milk do we need, Denise? We need one and a half cups. Let's see how much we got. We might just pull it out of the end. One a half. And three of these. Two. Somebody needs to go get almond milk this week. There we go. See? Tell you, don't waste. So that is everything, right? Double check. Oats are in there, brown sugar, baking powder, salt, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, ginger, eggs, puree, applesauce, cashew milk, and vanilla extract. There we go. And let's give it a good mix, mix, mix. You don't need to, you don't need to watch this. All right, I have a prepared eight by eight pan. I just prepared it with nonstick spray. I like to use the butter when it's something like sweet like this. And I'm just gonna dump all this in. Now you can make these into smaller sizes. I think she makes nine. But you absolutely can make them smaller. You wanna use it as a snack bar instead of a breakfast bar. I don't see why not. Heck, it's, you do whatever you want. She just gives you the guidelines. I love my pound. Who doesn't love pound dropper? I pound dropper. If you ever watch my videos, I think you're fabulous. Absolutely. Just get it as smooth and easily as you can. Oh, look at that. I know. Sorry, the camera. I apologize. I am. What I'm going to do now is what I should have done on my bake. Yes, my pumpkin sugar. Totally forgot about it. We're just going to grab. And just sprinkle it on top. Give a little load, little top of sweetness and extra pumpkinish, pumpkinish. There we go. Now you could absolutely add lilies. Oh, I'm sorry again, but I think I'll add lilies when I eat it. Maybe I'll sprinkle them on top. I mean, uh, like I said, if it's not going to kill you in points. I think she gives you the points at zero to three, depending on your personal points. If you have oats as a zero point food, it's a zero point breakfast oatmeal. But if you have to count out, it's probably three points, depending on the size. So my oven is at 350. I'm going to put it in, bake it for, what did she say? 30 to 35 minutes. We will come back when she's all done. I love pumpkin. Can I say that? I do. So I'll bake her and we'll be right back. All right, she's out of the oven. She is baked completely. Mine's a little dark because I use my toaster oven, but I'm going to cut it and square. I'm going to leave it in here um in the refrigerator but that is pound droppers easy pumpkin oat bake and it was easy it would dump and spin and dump and bake so that is it easy to share i wanted to share this with you but i didn't want to do a whole video because it's it's just a method i took the bag of the trader joe's gnocchi alla sorrento or sarentina with his mozzarella cheese and tomato sauce imported from Italy. It comes in this bag, one cup servings. You get three 220 calories, and there are six points per serving. And there's what? Some protein in there. So I followed the directions how to cook it, and I added a can of white beans, a can of tuna, and a can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. So all zero points for me. So I only have to count the one cup. So I could be a little bit of a liberal cup because I'll have tomatoes and I'll have beans and I'll have tuna. So I absolutely, this, I, I just cut this into thirds. So th a third of this is six points. I don't know about you, but that's a lot of food. So I just wanted to share that tip on how you can make, you know, easy weeknight dinners because the, the trigger is all the work for you. 
you have your, you know, your main part. You just had to add a protein. You could have added chicken sausage. You could have added chicken, ground chicken, ground anything. I happen to go with the fish. If a shrimp would be really good in this too. I wouldn't overcook them. Or a piece of cod, anything, salmon. So I just wanted to share an easy, quick, getting on the table week, week day dinner. This took less than 15 minutes and it's absolutely, look how good that looks. That looks amazing. And I did add a little bit of seasoning, but other than that, I just added the, I didn't drain the tuna and I didn't drain the, drain the tomatoes because I was afraid with the gnocchi, I didn't want it to be too dry. I, liked it. I wanted mine to be a little bit juicy, but look at that. I'm telling you people, you just have to, you know, give some thought to some things. You know, it's like, I wish I could come and cook for you. I do. But that is a simple dinner that you can get on the table in under 15 minutes. You know, and like I said, and I utilize my zero point beans, my zero point tuna, my zero point tomatoes. So I'm all good. Because yes, those are now my zero point foods because I switch them all the time anymore because that's what you have to do. So yep. Easy peasy weeknight dinner or heck weekend dinner. Top with a little extra mozzarella and some Parmesan, have a slice of crusty bread. It's doable, absolutely. All right, we're gonna meal prep some turkey breast. Now I saw this at the store, the Butterball All Natural Turkey Breast Tenderloin. You get one and a half pounds, and they're right here. I think it came to like $9.99, I think it was. So I thought, why not make my own? You know, I was gonna put it in the crock pot, but I honestly, I'm just gonna put it in the oven. So I'm going to throw that wrapper in the trash, wash my hands, which I already, I actually already washed my hands, but I'm gonna wash my hands again because I'm gonna to touch this wrapper again. And I'm gonna grab some seasoning and I'm gonna season up. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna roast these bad boys. So the back said you could barbecue it or you could roast it. So I'm gonna roast it. They said. 325 but I'm gonna stick with 350 for about 45 to 50 minutes so I'm going to douse it literally with some Kinder's bourbon peach I'm gonna give it a nice little outdoor flavor and then I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roast it for 20 minutes and I'm going to flip it and then we're gonna douse the other side so well, it's, it's gonna be liberals maybe our seasoning because turkey needs some flavor there we go. Let's just separate these two little bad boys. Let's just spot over here. All right. These are going to go into our oven and they're going to, like I said, 20 minutes. We're going to flip them and then I'll show you when we go to flip. All right. Taking them out of the oven, they cook for 20 minutes. I'm gonna flip them over. You can see they're, they're not near done. I'm gonna give it a flip. I mean, you actually could cook these and freeze one if you think if you're just if you don't have a lot, you know, if you don't have a lot of people here at your house. Absolutely, yeah, I would. I mean, you could freeze it before you cook it or cook it then freeze it. Either way it would work. But if you think, I mean, but for nine dollars, I don't know. I couldn't pass this up. And liberally, with all this stuff. We're gonna put it back in for another 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna check the thermometer, make sure it's fully cooked. I don't wanna overcook it because you know turkey, there's no bone on here, so I don't want it to dry out. This is gonna be like snacks and lunches for during the week. So I'll probably keep both of them out because like I said, there's four or five of us here at a time sometimes. So we'll go through this. Just pulled her out of the oven and I checked the temperature. She's 160, well, actually a little bit higher than 160. But look how good that looks. Yep, 20 minutes and 25 minutes. So I can't wait to let this cool a little bit. We're gonna slice it and we're gonna have some for lunch today. But there you go, easy prep that I took me, you know, threw it in there and went and did a few other things. So definitely can be done in record time with minimal effort. Well, that meal prep was quick. Yeah, you like those quick ones, don't you? <laughs> yeah, not well thought out, but delicious nonetheless. I have pound droppers that link down below. I have mine linked down below. So if you need the written recipes, that will description box will hook you up. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button to join the community here on Dish with D, hit that subscribe button. Join our community here on YouTube. You never know what's going to pop up on this channel. Just saying. So 
Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Thanks for everything you do for District D. She definitely appreciates it. She's me, isn't she? Who knew? I like when I talk to my, about myself in the third person. Yeah. Do it all the time. But. Have a great rest of your day. We will dish another day. Thanks for watching.